This is something I've been waiting for all week. All week. Take a look at this coverage, guys. Five fires, I've never been so excited. OMG! Nintendo Land has taken a vertical leap. Wow! I have no idea like what happened. Like in a matter of a week, all of this extra coverage and construction has happened. Look at that. There is gonna be so many cool updates that are gonna come from this. And I've done a little bit of research in regards to the one that's gonna happen in Japan. That's the only one that I could relate anything to of our Nintendo Land to anywhere else. But my goodness. I'm just gonna stay quiet and pan out so you guys can see this because this is just literally amazing. Amazing. taking that moment of silence to just acknowledge how epic this is this is incredible incredible the structure of whatever building that is on the right and that's look that's transformers right to the left of it that has already taken shape and it's almost as tall as transformers building I'll get down there in a little bit but I just want to show you guys from this upper angle what is going on Universal Studios is definitely not playing games with this construction. They are moving so fast. And what I want to talk about is some of the rumors and just things, predictions that I believe is going to come to our Nintendo Land. Hope you guys are ready for this. Let's start some discussion. Post in the comments what you guys think. And post in the comments what you predict is all of this. So the predictions and rumors that I want to go over is there's going to be a huge mountain that is going to arrive to our Nintendo land and it's going to be in a sense like Yoshi some type of Yoshi themed mountain I'm not too sure if Mario Kart the ride is going to be going through there if the mountain itself is going to be a ride there's going to be levels to this also it's going to be probably like first second and third story type of feel so this mountain that is going to be created right there is what I'm thinking and as we saw the tracks on that top right, which would be on the back end on this side, there's a lot of Mario Kart tracks that are being already implemented on the ground on that side. So I'm guessing that's where the Mario Kart attraction is going to be. But the thing about Nintendo Land is there's going to be a first floor and then a second floor. I don't think there's going to be a third floor that we're going to be able to walk through. But I feel like the Nintendo Land that's going to be arriving or Super Nintendo Land that's going to be arriving in Japan. I feel like ours is going to be very, very similar to it. And if you see the concept art and I'll put it up right now so you guys can get a good visual and make sense of what I'm talking about. There's going to be a ton going on. There's going to be a lot of things packed in this area. So my prediction is that this vertical building that's going to be built here is going to be the mountain that's going to be themed after Yoshi. I don't know if it's going to be a Yoshi ride or if it's just, I just, I don't know. We're too early to tell or rumor on that, but I feel like this is going to be Yoshi Mountain. And then on that back end, if we were to go off like what Japan's is going to look like, there would be like this huge Bowser building on that right side. And that's not, so, I, I don't know if that's something that's going to lead into the Mario Kart. Is that the entrance for Mario Kart? I don't know. I don't even know where what building is going to be the one that leads us into Mario Kart the ride. But on the left side over here, this is where things get really interesting in my opinion, is this structure that was taking shape right there. The rumor to be 
ride that was gonna land over here was Donkey Kong. I'm not too sure if Donkey Kong's gonna be the one that's coming to our Universal Studios. What I think this is, if we were to go off the concept art, because they're creating so much foundation on that ground area, I feel like it's gonna be the princess's castle. Yeah. This left foundation that we see, and so much construction has gone under in the ground. What I'm thinking is that's gonna be the castle of Princess Peach. Because in the concept art for the one in Japan, there's a castle for Princess Peach and it's very obvious that it's huge. So it's gonna be crazy. Disneyland is not gonna be the only place here in Southern California that has a castle. Universal Studios is now gonna be in the mix. At least that's what I'm predicting, is that the castle is gonna be in this area. And if we were to go based on that picture that we saw in the concept art, there looks like there's also a bridge that takes us from this upper land to this back area. And it looks like the desert is gonna be the theme. So desert, like the Super Mario desert from like the games, I feel like that's what's gonna be coming. And if you've ever played Super Mario Kart, the desert tracks, you're gonna see a lot of that stuff. Then that's what I think it's gonna be on this section. For Donkey Kong, I don't know. I don't know if Donkey Kong's gonna arrive over here. Like where are they gonna fit Donkey Kong? Would it be this upper left area? But the one thing that I saw and noticed before all of that bar that's over there, all that reinforcement bars and, or not the reinforcement bars, but just the, the, the beams that are gonna be going for this building, I saw a lot of track over there too for Mario Kart. Cause Mario Kart, the track, at least from what we see and saw, that, that thing is like from wall to wall. So from the right to left. So Mario Kart is definitely gonna be experienced like no other. But as, as this is taking shape, this is just an incredible moment in theme park history to see this happening. And I'm definitely gonna be covering this every step of the way here on Five Fires YouTube. The one thing I wanna ask, what do you guys think this bottom left area is? What do you guys think this middle section is gonna be? And what do you guys think on that left side? And what do you guys think on the right side? Post in the comments. Let's start some discussion and just get, get, get some predictions out there of what it's gonna be. Cause I love talking all this stuff. I could talk about this stuff all day. Especially with my good buddy Danny from Discover the Magic. Man, this is incredible. And these beams that you see on the left side, let me point at it right there. That's connected to where Dino Play is in Jurassic World the Ride on the left side. Those beams might be a bridge. It might be a bridge that takes us all the way to this area of Nintendo Land. And I'm just basing everything on the concept art that we've seen. But the thing about Nintendo Land is they're gonna be packing so much value because it's gonna be floors. So a lot of stuff's gonna be on the first floor and a ton of stuff are gonna be on the second floor. The one thing that I don't know, since I'm making a prediction that that construction on the left side is gonna be the foundation for Princess Peach Castle, I don't know if it's gonna be a ride, is it gonna be a restaurant? What type of experience is gonna be inside the castle? Personally, I hope it's I hope it's a ride. I always hope it's a ride. But if it's not gonna be a ride, because I know that there's not that much area, I hope it's uh, like in a, an amazing meet and greet with like a restaurant type feel. Because why wouldn't you eat at Nintendo Land? Like every time you come to Universal Studios, why wouldn't you have like your dinner at Princess Peach Castle? Or just in Nintendo Land in general? Man, this is just incredible, guys. I'm so excited to see this come to life. One thing I'm still wondering about Nintendo Land is if it's gonna extend beyond the walls. Like, is it gonna go into the, that back area, which I think is like Stu or Stage 21, which is that one right there. Is that gonna be taken down? Or is it gonna go into that showroom? How far and how big are the limits of Nintendo Land? Very curious, because I feel like this is not it. Like, it might go bigger than what it is currently. This is just gonna be incredible. I cannot wait till Universal Studios provides like concrete information of what's to come. Gosh. So, 
the update over here for Antojitos is it's still coming soon. They're probably doing some commercials or something because they got like camera equipment. Really good looking people over here. <laughs> but from what I've heard is they've, yeah, they are filming. So they're probably doing some trailers over here for Antojitos and just creating uh, whatever like, uh, whatever like commercials are gonna do or advertisements they're gonna do. But I've heard a lot of good things about Antojitos and the drinks are delicious. Soon to find out. They said late August and we're getting later in August. Probably gonna open, I'm guessing, like the last week of August is what it's sounding like. But there's a ton of media in there. I wonder if they got somebody famous. For Secret Life of Pets, uh, Welcome to Five Fires YouTube. Today we're gonna have an adventure over here at Universal Studios Hollywood. We're gonna be going over all the construction that's going on with Secret Life of Pets, Super Nintendo, and a surprise that I'll talk about later. If you're not already following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at the Cali Bay. Please subscribe, hit the like button, fire it up. I'm the main host, Mondo. Let's do this. Made it over here to Secret Life of Pets, off the leash. I don't hear any construction that's going. It looks like not too much has been done on the exterior of this ride. It's still all yellow. I know you can't see it through the mesh right now, but the yellow walls are still up. They did create a lot of the windows that are gonna be going throughout this scene. And as I've said it before in many of my other updates is Universal Studios literally hints at us and foreshadows what everything's gonna look like on the walls. But the main thing that I see is they have done like all the exterior windows. So I'm guessing at some point in time, they're gonna start uh, just getting everything painted and just get this all done, get these walls down. So then they're just probably working only on the inside and whatever type of track they're gonna do. From what I've heard, there's, there's, there's some rumors that have been going on and I'll talk about it right now. I've moved positions. I'm currently next over here, uh, next to Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem. I truly believe that this portion of this huge building is gonna be the entrance for the new ride. I see a lot bigger like windows or just uh, openings on this area. And it seems to be like they've created like a, uh, like, I don't know, like a ceiling type of effect that's like coming out. So that's probably gonna be the walkway area and the area I'm talking about is right there. But for Secret Life of Pets, these are the things that I've heard. And I want you guys to comment and start a, let's start a discussion about this. So we know uh, Nintendo Land or Super Nintendo Land is going to be coming out with a Yoshi themed ride in Japan for Universal Japan. What I've heard is that that system is going to be coming to our Universal Studios, uh, our Universal Studios Hollywood theme park as well. But it's not actually gonna be used for Nintendo Land. It's gonna be used for this ride right here. So what I was thinking, are we gonna be getting on like certain pets and then the pets are gonna be taking us out throughout the ride? Is this ride gonna be trackless? Is it gonna be like a dark ride? Is there gonna be like uh, projections, animatronics? So many questions. But that's what I've heard is that this ride right here might be the one that takes like the Yoshi system, the Yoshi theme ride system, and it's gonna be applied on this ride. So this ride's gonna be definitely super technological in regards to just all the previous rides. I'm excited. Yeah, from what I could see, I hope it's coming through in regards to that green mesh. This front area, that would be like across from Despicable Me, it's definitely taking shape. It's like a porch, like a front porch or patio kind of thing that's coming out. And that's definitely giving us like uh, telltale signs that that might be the entrance to uh, Secret Life of Pets Unleashed or Off the Leash. So much construction. And as I've said it before, take a look how big this building is. This ride's definitely gonna be like a three to five minute ride. I hope it's a high capacity ride so it gets like the lines going. Because over here at Universal Studios, the lines get crazy. And I highly recommend, if you able, are able to get the Platinum Pass, to get the Platinum Pass, because you get that front of the line. And then you get those awesome discounts. 
just a lot of benefits to the Platinum Pass itself if you are able to afford it. And we can't be over here without pressing the button. Nice t-shirt, did you get it in the park? <laughs> Nothing has changed too much over here at this facade, which is rumored to be. Here we got an update on Ghostbusters all the way over here at the bottom lower lot, or the back lot. From this angle, we have Creep Show here on the left side. I don't see too much progress, but that big facade that's in the front, I'm gonna get on the tram right now and see if uh, we get any update. Because uh, on Midsummer Scream, John Murdy did say that it is going to be comic book themed. So the outside is going to look like a comic book. And Super we Nintendo. Are entering the front lot. Anyone know why it's called the front lot? Finally made my way over here to Jurassic World, the ride. But I want to talk about some really, really cool updates that they have done. So they've created these misters that wrap around the trees over here by the entrance. So it allows people to sit down, even lay down, and cool off. I love this update. I wonder if they're going to keep it going throughout the rest of the trees. Because this area of Isla Nublar is definitely a popular hangout. Like, it's not just about the ride. It's about... Uh, the raptor encounter, it's all about Jurassic Outfitters, Jurassic Cafe, and even Isla Nublar, or Isla, Isla Nubar. But this is just a really cool place to come and hang out and just relax, as Jurassic World has been very popular. But as you can see on this area as well, they do have the misters over here. What an awesome, awesome update. Keep everybody cool. Just got over here by Transformers and my first reaction. What? <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Dang. I am a loss for words. I'm gonna see if I could get a good angle at it. Take a look at this construction update. Wow. My goodness. I have five kills. So this is what I am predicting. This is just a prediction that I'm making on my end. I think this is gonna be the Yoshi Mountain or just that mountain that you see on that concept art. Wow. This is incredible. And as you can see the floors that I was talking about earlier, it's very apparent now. My gosh, this is epic. What incredible, incredible update this is. And for a height measure, I would say it's about halfway of Transformers. That's like about a good height that I, I could see from Transformers. But I'm guessing that's gonna either go up one more or two more levels. Wow. This is the mountain area that I was talking about. Man. They have already started the construction at the top area too to create that flooring for these uh, for these levels. And to look on the yonder back there, you can see they've already started creating a wall too. That right there and then that side. You can definitely see that the, the like these floors are gonna extend that way. They're starting all the beams and support beams, as you can see in the bottom area. What an incredible update this is. I did not know that Universal Studios was moving this fast. Wow. Another thing I'm curious about is what's gonna happen with this walkway that leads us into Transformers area. That's what I'm wondering. And where is the actual entrance into Nintendo Land? Or Super Nintendo World? Whatever they're gonna call it, I have no idea. My goodness, this thing's massive. Look, for reference, I just wanna show you guys. This is the extended queue 
for Transformers, and look at that, just towering. Look at that, just towering. This structure is massive. Man, this is crazy. Another update that I want to talk about over here at Transformers, I've been, I've been waiting a long time to actually see it in play, is they finally got the extended queue going. And they got like some uh, different TVs over here set up with speakers. Because Transformers today I think it was like 100 or 120 minutes. It's pretty busy. As you can see they got speakers. I wish they had misters keep people cool over here. See if I could focus in on that TV. There we go. Goes all the way down there. And then if we were to walk down this way and go to that back side, that'd take us straight to Stranger Things. And that's gonna be the maze for Halloween Horror Nights. One thing I've been keeping a close eye on is Jurassic Cafe. It's me and my friend Danny from Discover the Magic. We knew that the menu was gonna change, like something was gonna stay, something was gonna go. I didn't expect, look, you see these plantain chips? They have now been re uh, replaced with curly fries. I don't even know if you could get plantain chips anymore. Because I don't see any plantain chips in this area at all. Oh, I do see a couple. So some of the items do have plantain chips, but now if you get like the Isla burger or the Isla chicken sandwich, those have curly fries. And from the reviews that I've heard from people, I haven't got it yet myself, but many people have told me they're not good. So I kind of prefer the plantain chips. I, I thought it went really well with everything. And it wasn't like as filling and it didn't hit the gut as like strong as these curly fries are because they are kind of greasy as, the, as the, the reviews that I've heard. One thing that did make the cut was the mahi mahi, uh, yeah, the mahi mahi that was right here. Something that did stay on the menu is the mahi mahi with melon pico, that did stay. And then here we got the kids menu. Has there been any changes? Uh, I don't think I see any changes, still the same. I still think these kids menus are like the best bang for your buck for eight bucks. That's a deal. Here we got another angle. This is a closer, more floor level angle at the back side. Which from the concept art tells us this is going to be something related to the sand. Mario Kart sand area. Or not sand, but desert. And they got the same concept as the other side over there by Transformers, which is two levels. Thank you guys for watching Five Fires YouTube. I appreciate all the support. We got to see so many updates. Very, very epic updates over here at Universal Studios Hollywood. If you're not already following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at the Cali Bay. Please subscribe, hit the like button. We are firing it down, firing it down. The Cali Bay is calling it a day. I'm the main host, Mondo. Ah.